So guys, you're recent back with another video of Katia V5, and this is the second video on student request. So this is the part that we are going to design in this particular video. So let's get started. So as we can see that first we will go to File New, click on Part, so I can just confirm all of them. Click OK. So I can see that as for the isometric view, it should look something like this. So I'm going to design on this Z X plane. Click sketch. Make sure I'm off the grid. Click isometric once again, just to confirm. So how I'm going to design this? I'm just going to design this particular semi rectangle. And I can see that this stiffness starts at around 13 from the top. So I will make and also this thickness is 13 as well. So I will make this entire part on top of this particular rectangular base. So I'm just going to make this L shape rectangle and then extrude it or pad it. And it's going to be mid plane to keep the symmetry. So I'll show you how I'm planning. So first of all, I can I have two ways. Either I can simply use profile, go right in the middle, with somewhere here, I know that going at the top, so I can I know where to design now, so I can just go top right here. It's going to be a rectangle, something like that. All right, then I'm going to click on this profile. So let's see the dimension. So it says 100 from the bottom, and at the top, I have to leave 13. So I can either do a simple maths or I can just type in 100 minus 13. It will give me 87, right? Similarly, the base itself, it says 56. I'm going to click, double click 56. And the thickness of this is 16 right here. So this is going to be 16. Double click 16 right here. And this thickness itself is 10. So this is going to be 10. Right here. If I look from the isometric view, I can see that okay, it does make sense. I can also include the radius within the sketch if I want to. Radius it says fillets are six radius, so I can just simply add six right here. Six right here. There we go. I can exit out, I can click on pad, click OK. So now I have two options either. I can make or I can click on mirror extent. So it's going to be 50 and 50 on both sides. So the total is what 50 and 25 each side. So I can type in 50 and okay. So that is, I should have entered 25, 25. If I want to verify whether I'm right, I can always click on measure one side to the other side right here. So it's 50 in total. And that's what we are looking for. I click on isometric once again. So now before making the top, I can also work with the stiffener. So stiffener, we can see that there are, there is different ways of designing the same thing, as I always say, right? Rib, stiffener, anything, it could be, So, as I was saying, there are different ways of designing the same thing. So, as you can see that we have stiffener right here. It is close to like uh, solid combine. So, we can choose stiffener, but it's asking us for at least one sketch or profile that we need. And how do we do it is we make, so because we have already padded it with respect to the center or the mid plane. So I'm going to use the same plane, click on sketch. What I'm going to do is I need to project the top and the side and click OK. And I will convert both of these into construction elements so that, and then I make a simple line that comes from the top, goes all the way here, right? But this should be a solid line. I exit out. 
I click on stiffener so it automatically combine the entire area that is embedded within it I can click on 10 so now I can see I have a beautiful thickness of 10 right in the middle so basically most of our part is already done so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch right at the top this shape I know that if I look at the isometric view I need to draw something here it's just going to be a continuation from the top so all I need to do is design something first I can project it to make my life easy I'm going to project this right and then I'm going to use profile just something like this then I need a curve I can use this yeah something like this and then there's a straight line I think this is what it looks like tangency that's good again I'm going to go for tangency that's good right I can make a hole right here it says 19 in diameter right and this is 19 in radius so 19 radius 19 diameter 35 from the center so from here till here is 35 and okay so let's see what else do we have left and the total from the center till the bottom is 70 this is right here from the base till the top is 70 there we go we have it we can exit out right now what oh that makes sense it should be the inside part not the outside so this entire thing should not come from here instead this should be the line that i should have projected at first place that's perfectly fine right there I can trim this line if I want to. I can trim this right here, trim, trim this line right here, right? And trim off the extra parts, just break them here to here, right? Now I can dimension it once again. So distance from the middle till the side is 35. 35 right here and I need to go inside these two points yeah so this is coincided if we are not sure what might be the mistake so we can just always move it and come to know that okay this thing is not fixed I can coincide the base as well there we go now it's fully green means it's fully constrained now I can do the same thing once again I can pad it now. I can pad it. Pad is going to be what 13. Yep. That's what it looks like. Very similar to what we want. And yeah. That's basically it. So now we just need to apply some radiuses and on the stiffener which is six. You can click on fillet, click 6 right here. It's going to go all the way there and one fillet right here. Do we have somewhere else? I think those are only two places there where it says 6. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So, yeah, that was as per the student's request. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it. I think from my understanding that was the only criteria that was left and yeah if you have any other questions please let me know i would love to solve them as soon as possible thank you bye